In a world where local musicians and artists are unrated, underappreciated, unnoticed, battered, abused, and swept under the rug. Living show to show without secure benefits like medieval jesters. Run with the kittens. If you're actually listening to it right now, I played a song for my hamster that just died. Class. I like Underplayed and underpaid. Real local music. Use what you have. All the canned rock stuff. And the canned rock stuff too. Chuck one around. We won't get into that. That was a good thing. Mondays at 6 p.m. What was special to me and really cool, amazing, incredible, like I need to rise up to this level. Phenomenal. Definitely incredible. Probably the coolest. Strong. You're a people-aholic. Oh. <laughs> Why are you killing me? I'll try not to swear. CFRU 93.5. Wow, the food was delicious. It had a smorgasbord of awesomeness. <laughs> it's like your, uh, your regular breakfast sausage. Well, I also uh, ate some cocktail leaders and drank some melon liqueur one, one morning very early on the tour bus. Good evening. You are listening to CFRU 93.3 Campus Community Radio with the show Underpaid and Underplayed. Underpaid and Underpaid. Underpaid and Underplayed with your hosts, Brian McNeil and myself, Braden Johnson. So uh, our show is mainly focused on local artists promoting their music and uh, getting their music out there. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, tonight... Uh, we have an interview with uh, Hustle Rose. Hustle Rose. And uh, so we're going to play some uh, some music and that interview, followed by some artists that are performing at the upcoming Hillside event in Guelph. Hillside. So uh, yeah. if any of you are familiar with Hillside, it is uh, not this coming weekend, but the weekend after, uh, the 22nd to 25th, I believe. Last weekend in July, like yeah. every year. So uh, I believe there's still tickets available. If, uh, not uh, for the whole weekend, but I believe there's, for uh, I think, yeah. Friday or Saturday still. All right. So yeah, if you can uh, if you can make it out there, that'd be great. It's a, it's a great festival, so we encourage you to all go out and check it out. Yeah. Uh, we actually had, uh, we interviewed a band called Advertise, who's going to be playing at Hillside. Yes. And that's pretty cool. Good for them. Um, so yeah, about Hustle Rose, uh, some young guys that are just kind of feeling out themselves when it comes to uh, making music. They just, they won a won a competition, won some st- some studio time in Toronto, and a uh, fun bunch of young guys. And um, here's their interview. So uh, the first two songs we'll play is Control and Rock and Roll. That's uh, song number one and song number two on 93.3 CFRU.
Neil at the University Center in uh, the University Guelph campus, uh, right outside CFRU actually, and I'm here with Hustle Rose. So uh, how about you guys introduce yourselves and uh, tell me, tell the listeners what you guys do in the band. Alright, uh, I'm Sky Sawyer and I play the drums. I'm Chris and I do vocals and guitar. I'm Aaron Shields and I play bass guitar. Right on. So how long have you guys been together in a band? Um, the band started in around November of last year. And then we brought in Sky, probably I guess March, March, April, around there. So uh, pretty, uh, pretty recent. Cool. Haven't been around that long. Have you guys done any shows yet? Uh, yeah, we've done I think four now. Uh, two shows in Kitchener for uh, Supernova, and then two shows downtown Guelph. Yeah. Or yeah. One show I think. Yeah, uh, we did MV Lounge downtown and uh, Squirrel Tooth Alice recently. Right. Um. What style of music do you guys have? Uh, is there some kind of a label you can label it? You want to tell um, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's pretty. Uh, it's like electronic rock, basically. I mean, it's it's very. We all come from different styles of music, so it's kind of a. It's definitely a blend. Yeah, definitely. But, yeah, but it's, I mean, electronic rock is basically what we call it. Right on. 
what's the biggest venue you guys have uh, performed at? Uh, definitely the Chris Woods Theater in Kitchener. That was, um, I don't know, how many people do you think? The, I don't know how many people were there, but it can hold probably 400. <laughs> probably, yeah. Know, so yeah, that was decent. We probably had 100, 150 maybe. Yeah, it was pretty good. So um, how many different types of, uh, of instruments do you guys have? Is it just straightforward, or do you guys have a lot of uh, preamps, amps, of, uh, vocal amps, and all that stuff? Um, basically straightforward, bass, guitar. The only crazy thing is, yeah, the keyboards. We do some interesting things with the keyboards. We have, like, a sitar sound, one, and yeah. it's, it's kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, they, they work. Yeah, and a really big sound system. That's always fun. So uh, vocals and keyboards go through that. And uh, that's basically it, though. This guy's basement is uh, crazy. It's just ridiculous setup. Yeah. It's so much. I don't, even, I don't even know what goes on. I'm the only one who knows how it works. <laughs> so would you be the audio technician? I, I guess I'd be the techie, yeah. Right. Definitely. Um, who influences you guys each? Well, Aaron, you want to start? Um, my brother got me really into like new wave music. So growing up, I mean, I've listened to a lot of bands like The Cure and Smiths, stuff like that. So musical uh, jumble, I guess, it's just kind of everything. Yeah. yeah, I'm more of a like a Brit rock kind of guy. I love Arctic Monkeys and Stereophonics and Block Party and Oasis and those kind of bands. I'm a, I'm a punk. I, I like my Clash and Ramones and all of that stuff. 70s and 80s punk was good for me. And then I also like the new kind of crappy punk like Blink. Yeah. And, um, you know, really f I like fast drumming, but uh, I've learned to sort of tone it down a bit for certain things when I need to, so, yeah. Have you guys ever done an interview before? Um, not a vocal yeah, we interview. Did, we, did we did one, a written me and Aaron one. did one. Uh... <laughs> yeah, for before the Ross show thing, but we didn't really oh. have anything. I don't know if that even counts as an interview. That was uh, that was kind of lame. <laughs> this is uh, this is the first more official. Yeah, we one. were we were sent some questions by email, and we just sort of wrote out some ridiculous answers for them and sent them back. So that's the closest we've had so far. Oh yeah. Well, thanks for uh, letting underplayed and underpaid put you guys on the air. Um, pleasure. Yeah, well, that's that's us to a T anyway. <laughs> uh, I've got to come up with some questions. Because you guys are, haven't been around that long, I can't ask you about performance. Like, where's your favorite restaurant close to a venue? So, <laughs> um, <laughs> Subway so far. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've, yeah, we've had a Subway at, like, right by the studio. A subway, I think, for both Kitchener shows. Yeah. Okay. Subway's... Pretty consistent, for us, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, when it comes to making this album that you guys are putting out, uh, what's it called, and uh, how have you guys been able to put it together? Uh, well, so far for a name, we've come up with. Uh, we're going to call it. Oh, we're actually a band because every time we go try to get a show, that's how we kind of introduce ourselves. <laughs> uh, so I think that's what the EP is going to be called. We're yeah. looking at about two songs right now. Try and get a third one. I think we can get a third one. In. Yeah, just recently recorded the two, and they're almost finished. This is the first time they're going to be heard, actually. Pretty exciting. Yeah, that's great. Um, how did you guys come up with the funds? Uh, you mentioned that you won a competition. Is that what happened? Yeah, we played a show uh, in Kitchener with Supernova, and we came in second, so we got uh, eight hours of recording time in Toronto, so that really helped. Great. It's not cheap. Yeah, it was huge help. What studio did you uh, do the recording at? Uh, Epic Productions. Okay. Yeah. Do you know who the producer was? I honestly don't uh, remember his name. It's like, wow, this is terrible. We said we were going to say his name, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, he's a good guy. Just Google Epic. And yeah. <laughs> if you could have dinner with anybody, alive or dead, who would it be? We'll start with you. Joe Strummer, definitely. Yeah. And why? I just, I, he's got, I don't know, he just seems like such a smart and down-to-earth guy. But, like, yeah, he's dead, so can't do it. <laughs> Uh, I'd say Julian Casablancas from The Strokes. I think he's just such a, so chill, such a good guy. Definitely a big role model. Definitely Robert Smith of The Cure. Uh, doesn't do a lot of talking and not a lot of interviews, so it'd be definitely uh, cool to get him to talk. Right yeah. All right. 
Well, this has been Brian McNeil for 93.3 CFRU on Underplayed and Underpaid with Hustle Rose. And here's a couple songs.
That was an interview with Hustle Rose, good bunch of guys. And uh, well, right now, we're actually having a little bit of trouble finding artists that are performing at Hillside. We were able to find one so far, and it's Common Grackle. I think this will be the third time that we've played Common Grackle on the show. So uh, before we get into that, I want to say to to all the band members and, and people who are fans of bands or people who like people who are in bands, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, it's easy to get on the show. All you got to do is contact Braden or myself at B-R-Y-A-N-C-F-R-U at gmail.com. And, uh, and we'll come out and do an interview. Uh, we just got a notification that we're going to be doing some, we're going to get set up with some information to contact some of the bands for Hillside, and we're going to do a lot of that in the next couple weeks. So uh, it's all about Hillside for now. All right, well, we're going to get into Common Grackle, and I'm going to play the first song off of uh, Common Grackle's CD. It's called Thank God It's Monday, featuring Cool Keith. So you're listening to 93.3 CFRU, underplayed and underpaid. In a world where local musicians and artists are unrated, under pre- Tell it. It's all press permanent. Monday is the element. I'm here for the occasion. I dress to the extent. Sunset of Broadway. We party on Monday. Advertise. You see the display. Ladies leave later. I party. Some start work on that day. M O N D A. Why? Because I told you. Directly to the place. The after party to go to. There's a lot of ugly women at my favorite bar.
So that was Common Grackle, and thank God it's Monday, and actually the second song just automatically played right through, and that was called Churchill's Black Dog. I want to get back to Hustle Rose. I, uh, I gotta let you guys know what the last two songs that we played were. The, the second last song was called Sitar Song, and the final song was called Strawberry Taser. So how about we just uh, talk a little bit about what's going on on Hillside, Braden? Uh, actually, I think we have Fred Penner coming up to Hillside. Is that correct? Ped Frenner? Who? who? Fred Penner? Ped Frenner? Yeah. Uh, I, I, th- I believe he's coming on Sunday, so uh, I wasn't aware that he was... I'm not sure if he's still touring, or I guess he's... Uh, what's that? I guess that? he's coming, so... What's that the instrument that he used to do? The dwang, dwang, dwang. Uh, do you mouth, know what it's called? The mouth harp. Mouth harp. Believe, that's what yeah. you call that? Yeah. Now I'm going to have the uh, the introduction to that uh, show stuck in my head all day. Yeah. Uh, well, so, uh, yeah. For you. And another band that's going to be playing at Hillside is uh, Lowlands. And so we're going to play a couple tracks from the Lowlands. And uh, you can catch them at the Hillside Festival next weekend, uh, July 22nd to July 25th. So what's the, uh, what's the track we're going to play? How about we play Necromancer? That's, a, that's an interesting title. Yeah, one, actually, I've heard that one. It's a good one. Seven. seven All right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is The Lowlands on CFRU. Like a 
Welcome back, Underplayed and Underpaid. Brian McNeil, Braden Johnson. I want to reiterate a point that we made earlier. If, you, uh, if you're in a band and you want to get some free promotion, we'd totally enjoy just uh, sitting down, kicking it with you for a few minutes, ask you some questions, and then play your songs. If you've never had your songs played, well, we just played a band today for the first time on the radio, and uh, they were pretty excited about it. So big ups to Hustle Rose, big ups to Aaron Dale at uh, uh, Guelph Music, sorry, musiclives.ca. It's a Guelph-oriented website. Uh, it actually looks really good, and I, I suggest anybody check it out if you want to know what's going on downtown. Um, musiclives.ca. Make sure you check that out. Aaron Dale, big plug. What are we going to do next? Tacoma Hill Farm uh, Tragedy? Yeah, Tacoma Hill Farm Tragedy. Sounds Performing good. At Hillside. Hillside. I saw them at the Gain yeah. Music Festival. That also, awesome. uh, Another good festival. It just started this year, but it was the first annual, so hopefully next year it will uh, come again to town. So, Okay. What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, and uh, after this, we're going to play uh, some other artists from Hillside, including uh, Kid Street. Uh, we have Advert Eyes. And, uh, yeah, so keep listening. And All right. So this first song we're going to play... Uh, by Tacoma Hell Farm Tragedy is called White Line on 93.3 CFRU. Tragedy uh, from Out of Sound Records. The song was called White Lines. 
All right, and uh, next up, I want to give a shout out to uh, to Kim. This uh, the song is for you. It is uh, Kid Street with the song "Song." That's what the song is called. In case uh, anyone's confused there. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Kid Street on underpaid and underplayed. All right, so we just had uh, a track mix up there. So that was actually the song X, the Rambo remix, but uh, we're going to play the song called Song Next Up. Uh, it's just by, uh, by Kid Street, so...
So that was Kid Street on, uh, and the album's called the X E P, and the song was called Song. <laughs> yes, <it was. laughs> and uh, so yeah, another. Here's a good band that I uh, I'm actually buddies with one of the members, uh, Tyler. What's up? And they're going to be playing at Hillside. This is Advert Eyes, and this is uh, I, it, I don't think this is the new album, which is a good album, but uh, this album is called Speculative Fiction, and the song is called Bed Weddings and Gene Spreadings. And uh, we were actually fortunate enough to have them on uh, a previous show, so hopefully uh, we can uh, get them on again before Hillside. Yeah, that would be great. All right, so here we go. Uh, Bed weddings and jeans spreadings on 93.3 CFRU. <laughs> Three three underpaid and underpaid. Brian and Braden, and uh, that was advertise with the song "Bed Weddings and Jean Spreadings." Quite the uh, I don't know, it's just a yeah, big sound uh, for those guys got. You know, yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to say something about the name, and I was going to say I can't really picture that in my head. What that means? Well, I'm pretty sure that's how you came into the world, isn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway. Moving on. Moving so, on. So next up, we're going to play some uh, some Mother Mother, who are also playing at the Hillside Festival. And uh, Are they Canadian? They are. Oh, I think that we're running like 100% all Canadian uh, music. And yeah, for the five months we've been doing this, we've played all Canadian music. So uh, 
big up Canadian artists yes. for making music that we get to play. That's awesome. Yeah, it's uh, it's always good to keep Canadian music around. It's underpaid for sure. Yeah. I'm sorry, underplayed. underplayed. <laughs> no, it's underplayed and underpaid. Exactly, uh, exactly. It's also, I, I want to mention uh, anybody who's fans of Run With The Kittens, like myself, uh, they're going to be back on August 5th. And uh, I really hope that a lot of people come out. I mean, it's always kind of packed, but hope people get there early and uh, and really have a good time. Uh, the lead singer, Nate Mills, uh, was riding his bicycle in Parkdale, and his bike got caught in an uh, electric trolley track, and he went head over heels. And uh, let's just say his face ain't as beautiful as it used to be. <laughs> he smashed out his front teeth, and they did a show, and they were going to call it Mouth Aids, and, and I'm... I'm pretty sure they really uh, had a second thought about that and they ended up calling it Tooth Aid. Uh, so <laughs> I think they're still trying to raise money to uh, make sure that Nate's bills from the dentist get paid. So August 5th, come out to the Jimmy Jazz with Run With The Kittens. All right, so what are we doing now? Mother Mother. Mother Mother. Album called with, Touch Up. With the song called Dirty Town. From Last Gang Records. All right, here we go. Just want to make sure that I got the right CD. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, Mother Mother Hillside Festival, Friday the 22nd to Sunday the 25th of July. Make it out. See these great bands. The next show we have is going to be fully dedicated to Hillside artists, so listen up next week as well. All right. This is Mother Mother with Dirty Town. <laughs> Cause I can't stand living in a dirty town Yeah, I pinch my pennies and I put them down And I wash my hands of a dirty town Plant my seeds in the ground Yeah, I put them down in my new brown land Cause you can't plant seeds in a dirty town No, you can't plant seeds in a dirty town I chop and fire a chop and fire a chop, chop, chop Just like a country boy should be chopping with hot country My candy sticks are the pearl So that was Mother Mother with the song Dirty Town from the album Touch Up. Great Canadian band. Yeah, so that's pretty much our show on uh, 93.3, Underplayed and Underpaid, Brian and Braden. So uh, I want to thank anybody who's actually listening, if there's people listening besides Aaron Dale, because he told me he was going to tune in. Uh, and uh, if you did just tune in partway through the show, I would just like to again mention that the show is mainly focused on local artists, people that are performing in Guelph, coming through Guelph, uh, to try to raise awareness about local music. So if you'd like to get a hold of us, 
uh, if you want to be on the show, we'd love to have you on and yeah. give you an interview and to promote your music. So you can reach us at BrianCFRU at gmail.com. B-R-Y-A-N-C-F-R-U, all one word. All right. And, uh, yeah, we'd love to have you on. All right. One more note. This Friday at Club Vinyl, the Cancer Bats are in town. Yeah. Also a great band. Yeah. Heavy Thank stuff. You. Yeah. Thanks, Dylan, uh, and, and the people at Gain Music for bringing them down. All right, and that's it. That's, our, that's show. our show. So uh, stay tuned next week, Monday at 6 o'clock. We're going to have a hillside show for you. Uh, it's undetermined which artists we are going to have at the sh on the show, but it'll be artists that are performing at uh, the Hillside Festival. So stay tuned. Here we go. Hi, I'm Doug Blackwood. I've been hosting Seems Like Old Times for about 18 years now. Music and old radio, 1930s to 50s. The show is becoming more issues and history oriented for older adults. If you know of something that would make a good topic of discussion, or would like to hear a piece of music or old radio show repeated, why not email me at seemslikeoldtimes at cfru.ca. Seems Like Old Times, Wednesdays from 2 to 4 p.m. on CFRU 93.3 FM. Ladies and gentlemen of Guelph, Hillside Festival is upon us. Join CFRU at Guelph Lake from July 22nd to 24th. Featuring over 80 performers, including Sloan, Sean Cooty, Old Man Ludica, $100, Doug Paisley, Dan Mangan, Colorado, Gobble Gobble, The Deers, Braids, Serena Ryder and the Beauties, Shad, The Rural Alberta Advantage, and Fred Penner. Not to mention a stage of spoken word artists and an Aboriginal drum and dance circle. Day passes are still available through TicketPro.ca or at Hempire at 54 Carden Street. For more information, visit HillsideFestival.ca. Hillside Festival is an accessible event. This song is for liberty. This song is so we can be free. This song is, is what we know. Oppression is a crime and it must go. You're listening to CFRU FM 93.3 from University of Guelph. Women of the world, stand up and fight. Now is the time to claim our rights. Colors not an issue in this fight. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. This song is it's for liberty. This song is so we can be free. This song. The internet is a fast, open, reliable network that is diverse, free, and allows an equal exchange of ideas. However, this reality is being challenged by monopolies in the media, as well as by decisions made on issues such as internet openness and usage-based billing. OpenMedia.ca is here to ensure that the decisions regarding the internet are fair and citizen-friendly. We engage, educate, and empower citizens on the necessity for a media communication system that adheres to the principles of democracy, 